Hello guys, today let us discuss a new drug approved by FDA in 2020 and the drug that I am about to discuss is called as Ava Pretinib and from the Tinib itself you might have guessed that this drug is nothing but it is a kinase inhibitor right but which kinase does it inhibit that kinase is called as PDGFRA that is platelet derived growth factor receptor alpha kinase inhibitor. Now, when I inhibit this kinase, I get an effect that is required for treatment of a disorder called as GIST or gastrointestinal stromal tumor. And this drug is reserved for treatment of those conditions which are either metastatic or unresectable cases of GIST. And obviously, for those cases which are because of PDGFRA exon 18 mutation. Now, if I look at this much, guys, you would not be able to understand as to what is the role of these drugs in today's world for treatment of GIST. For that, I have to take you through what are the drugs we have as of now and in what kind of mutations we use those drugs, right? So here, look at the drug available for us for treatment of GIST. As of now, guys, the GIST can be either because of mutation of KIT or because of PDGFRA. Mostly they are because of KIT mutation. And for kit mutation, two types of kit mutation because of mutation of exon 9 and exon 11, for these two, imatinib is effective. So for these two mutations, I can use imatinib, right? And imatinib is the drug of choice for treatment of GIST, right? But if you use imatinib and what can happen later is there can be exon 13 and 14 mutation. And in that case, imatinib becomes ineffective. So, or, or I can say it is resistance to resistant to imatinib. In that case, I will use a drug which would be effective in exon 13 and 14 mutation, and that drug is called as sonitinib, which means if there is no response to imatinib, I'll use sonitinib, right? In case of exon 13 and 14 mutation. But if there is no response to sonitinib because of exon 17 mutation, then I use a drug called as Rigorafenib, right? But all of these are because of this exon mutation in kit. But if there is no response to any of these because of mutation of PDGFRA exon 18 mutation, so if there is PDGFRA exon 18 mutation in that case, None of these drugs would be effective and the only drug that would be effective is what we have approved this year and that drug is avapritinib which guys we are discussing now right. So this is the role of avapritinib and avapritinib is effective not only in PDGFRA exon mutation it is also effective in case of kit mutation but we do not use it for kit mutation we keep it as a reserve drug. Now, some other things about this drug is avapritinib um, route of administration is oral and the dose is 300 milligrams once a day. Side effects, it causes some grave side effects like intracranial hemorrhage, neurotoxicity as well as it should not be given in pregnancy because it is a teratogenic drug. Right guys, so this is the new drug that we had to discuss today approved in 2020. The drug is called as avapritinib, right, I hope. You got a hang of it as to what is the role of this drug in current world and why FDA has approved this drug. Right, guys? So I'll keep on posting new drug every now and then, which will be approved in this year. And do not forget to like my channel, guys, by clicking on this icon so that whenever I post something, new drug updates or anything, guys, for your exams, you'll automatically get uh, an update about that in your YouTube channel. Right, guys? So thanks for watching and keep studying hard. And all the best guys.